today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some DIY fall choker necklaces because everybody knows the famous trend of fall are choker necklaces. So without further ado, let's just get on to the cute choker necklaces. Starting off, I'm just taking an old headband and I'm just taking off the little chain part of that. And I just found this really, really cute design kind of little chain thingy. So I decided why not make this into a choker. Smart. Use your headbands, your old headbands that you don't want anymore, and turn them into ch chokers. Okay, so what I'm starting off by doing is taking a jump ring and hooking that onto the end of my little chain headband thingy. And basically, I'm just going to be taking the hook, and I'm going to be taking a uh, little clasp thingy. I don't know what it's called, but, you know, it's a thingy that, you know, connects them and, uh, I don't know, something like that together. So... And um, then I'm just going ahead on the other side and I'm adding a jump ring and I'm going to be closing both jump rings on both sides so that, you know, it's put together and it's a nice little choker necklace. So <laughs> go ahead and do that. So, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, I, I don't think I did, I don't think I did, but it is very, very hard to close these jump rings, so make sure you be very careful and make sure that there's no gap in between them, because trust me, it can fall out from the littlest gap ever I have experienced, so make sure you close it well. And it looks so beautiful like this, so I really recommend doing something like this. So now, for number two, number dos, no, not dos, yeah, I think it's no, I, yeah, I think it's dos. Okay, so I'm going ahead and starting off and taking some ribbon, just like this. It's, you know, some white plain ribbon. You know, if you want, you can make another color, but I'm just going ahead with this white one, and I'm taking a little pretty flower charm like this. You can take any type of charm you want. I'm not forcing you to take a flower charm. Don't, you know, it's okay. You don't have to be part of the flower charm. You can be part of any charm you would like, but, you know, if you want to have a flower charm and be part of the fam, then you can do that too. So also, you're going to be needing a jump ring, and I'm just going ahead, and I'm opening the jump ring, and I'm going to be putting my charm into the little little hole through the jump ring so that it will be a charm wow we just transformed a charm just by adding a little ring to a little flower charm i think i think this charm is really cute so then yeah i'm going ahead and i'm closing that and make sure to be careful with that and i'm going ahead with my little ribbon and i'm going to be putting it through the hole and make sure to be careful with this and get the whole ribbon through just like I am doing right here, and it's simple as that. That's all you do. And literally, you don't even have to put a clasp or anything at the end of this. You could just tie like a bow around the back of your. It will literally look amazing. So now for the third choker necklace, the last and final choker necklace out of all of our cute choker necklaces. I'm going ahead and taking this red ribbon. You can take any type of cute little ribbon. You can even take lace, any type of ribbon you would like. And I'm going ahead with a hole puncher. Don't worry, we're not punching a hole in our heads or something like that. No, don't worry. I'm not going to make you do that to yourselves. But uh, we are going to be doing something cool with that. So I'm going ahead with a clasp again and taking two jump rings. So now I'm going ahead with a hole puncher and I'm going to be taking it and hole punching the end of our ribbon. That's right. As I said, we weren't using a hole puncher to, you know, hole punch our heads. We're doing it to use the hole puncher to hole punch the end of our ribbon. So I'm going ahead and taking out the little, you know, hole punch, you know, thinger. And now I'm going ahead with a little clasp and I'm going to be opening that so that there is a little hole to go ahead and put the ribbon through so that it will be attached and we can attach our clasp. So yes was going ahead and doing that and I realized that the end of the ribbon was a little longer so I just went ahead later and I trimmed that you know if you if you didn't notice yeah I mean if you don't notice then yeah that's that okay so now I went ahead as you see if you notice I trimmed it okay so now I'm going ahead with my other clasp and I'm going to go ahead and put it through the um the little ring you know a little small thing and again be very careful with this it's, it's very hard trust me but actually, with, with the little um, plier thingy, I think, it's it's a lot easier. So make sure you don't use your fingers, because that's that, I don't think that's going to work out, honestly. So, huh, yeah. So now I have a little clasp attached. And now I'm going ahead on the other side, and I attached a clasp already. And now I'm just going ahead and tying it around my neck, and it looks beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the different variety of chokers. I really enjoyed making all this video for you, and I love you guys so much. <laughs>